It's safe to say that every boat trip needs big plans. That is unbelievable. This is a hidden gem that we're excited to share with you guys down here in Marathon. We all know it's a lot of work, but nothing good in life comes easy. This is so nice. Wow, look I at love this. it. Now, there's no such thing as perfect, but sometimes we can get close to it. Therefore, this is one of those things that every boater needs to do. So you excited? I am excited. It's been a long morning. We were looking for our wallets. We're very forgetful this morning for, with things, but we're excited to get away for the weekend and just enjoy ourselves and, you know, spend a little time in the middle keys. Yeah, it kind of seems like everybody always forgets about what's in the middle. So we got 50 miles until Marlin Bay but we're gonna be taking you guys along our journey, teach you guys a little bit based on how to navigate through the Florida Keys. We're excited to experience yeah. the fishing and just the, the lifestyle, the sandbars, everything that Marathon has to offer. So let's go ahead, let's get down there and let's see what the Middle Keys has to offer. Take those chains right up for your Feels like it's probably around, what would you say, seven degrees when the boat's running in motion? Yeah, it's a little chilly. I had to put my veil hoodie on. That's right. You gotta make sure you always have those. But, you know, a lot of people always ask me about navigating throughout the Keys. One thing I can say about the Keys is it's actually one of the easiest places to navigate, believe it or not. And the reason why is because we have clear water and the water changes its color depending on the depth. So there's a good old saying that says, brown, brown, run aground. So once you start to see that brown water, that's obviously water you want to avoid. Now, in addition to that, there's really not too many obstacles when you're traveling down the Keys like we are right now. Once you get, say, about half a mile to a mile offshore, you're basically avoiding all collapse where you could potentially run aground. And then once you start to get to about, say, two to three miles offshore, then you have the patch trees that you have to worry about. But basically, there's a buffer in between the grass flats in the patch reefs that'll basically give you a clear path to navigate through. One of the biggest things that I could say more than anything, get yourself a good shark water. We run Garmin on all of our boats. There's color coordination based on depth. So as of right now, we're in the lighter shade of blue into white, so we know that we have plenty of depth. That is unbelievable. <laughs> that is our first ever contender right there. That's so crazy that we ran into you guys. Boat looks good. It does. All right, I know that boat. <laughs> <laughs> I know that boat too. Cool guys, cool. We'll take it easy. Take care. All right, you too, good luck. So that is so cool, man. So I learned so much out of that boat right there. That was the first real fishing boat that I ever had free reins with. And they actually shipped it up to Ohio. So the fact that they're down here in Marathon using the boat, unbelievable, so cool. But what we're doing is we're cutting through Vaca Cut right now. We took the ocean side the whole way down because of the wind direction. It's kind of blowing out of the north. so. Since it's blown out of the north, the chain of islands was protecting the ocean side. Typically, the bay side is always calmer, but in the winter months, we get the north winds, so the ocean side, while hugging the shoreline, is typically a lot calmer than the bay. So, Vaca Cut, looks like we have about 12 feet of clearance here, 
and most boats with t-tops will be able to get underneath this but i think we're gonna have to lower the outriggers and then once we do that we will be on the bay side and we're gonna stop at marathon fisheries to eat some lunch how cool was that really cool right Alrighty, so Clay and I were trying to think of a spot to stop at and it's been a while since I've had some stone crabs because <clears throat> someone here hasn't pulled the trigger on some stone crab traps. So hey, get the traps ready for me. I'll take you stone crabbing <laughs> whenever you want. No, I just want you to deliver the crabs. You I don't want, you want me to do a little, Yeah, exactly. Exactly. So we are stopping at the Marathon Fisheries. It's the freshest fish you can probably get. So I would imagine they've got some fresh claws as well. So mm -hmm. stone crab season just opened up, but yeah. you know, there's all these touristy restaurants all throughout the Keys here, but the fisheries is basically a commercial fishing hub. So this is where a lot of the fresh fish that's caught out of the Keys is bought and then delivered to the restaurants. So we're going to pull in here, get some fresh fish and Basically, this is a hidden gem that we're excited to share with you guys down here in Marathon. It's yummy. We're getting stone crab. I want jumbo, I want a pound. That's what I'm getting. A jumbo pound of stone crabs. Right. All right, I'm also gonna get a conch chowder. Look at the puppy, hello. <laughs> ginger. Hey, Ginger. <laughs> You're so cute. What's up, Ginger? You're just a friendly little one, aren't you? Are you gonna get Group and Ruben? Yeah, Grouper I'm gonna get Ruben. the Group and Ruben. How do I Sounds know awesome. you so well? Because I'm very predictable. Thank you. What's your guys' favorite animal? Uh, my favorite animal is a dog. Dog? So basic. <laughs> Thank you. Where are you going? What are you doing? What are you doing there? What's mine? Dog. Dog. I got you this. Dang, that looks good. It does look good. So this is mine. Reuben is awesome. That's what I get every single time I come here. I know. Stone crabs look good. Keep looking. <laughs> here. That's about as fresh as you'll get stone crabs right there too. Awesome. Bang, that's really good. It's so good. It's like that movie on 60 seconds. I don't want it hanging around my plate for too long because then Clay starts to stare at it. And give me those sad eyes like, please feed me, feed me. From here, we are gonna get going over to Marlin Bay. And conveniently, all we have to do is just idle the boat right around the corner. So if you guys ever are staying at Marlin Bay, I mean, the fisheries is basically walking distance mm -hmm. from the resort. Oh, look, they got a sign for us right there, too. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. Hey, that's so funny. I love the sign. The sign is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I can't thank you enough. Yeah, I mean, that, really. This is awesome. This is beautiful. What? I'm so sorry. What was your name again? Chris. 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 It says it on her name tag. If you forget it. And it's yeah. It's I, can, I don't know how to long. read. I can't <laughs> read. <laughs> and then his name this? was Brian. 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 Okay. So Chris and Brian right Brian. now are taking us into our villa yeah, I can come in this way. and i knew that this place was nice but holy moly i did not know it was going to be this nice this is so nice wow look I at this i love it this, this is, is amazing beautiful. i just like our private pool <laughs> <laughs> this is great and an elevator this too this is so. your two-car garage oh wow we got a two-car garage in here there are two freezers in there if you want to store bait. 
thank you. I appreciate that. What you got there, Stephanie? Mm. My favorite drink ever, a pina colada. <laughs> <laughs> so the greeting was pretty unbelievable, but oh. that was ridiculously nice of them. <gasps> Look at this. This is really nice. This is beautiful. This looks like I could do a lot of work in here. <laughs> oh, you already know. It's gorgeous. Gorgeous, I tell you, gorgeous. <laughs> okay. Yeah, these villas are pretty spectacular. Cheers, Clay. To an incredible trip so far. I finally got my stone crab fix. <laughs> but you see, that's why we make these videos so we can let you guys in on all the secrets. Mm -hmm. But this place is pretty awesome. Yeah, it's a pretty big home. So they actually have three bedrooms and four bedrooms, th houses on the property that you can rent them for a week or you can rent them for a month, depending on what you're looking to get out of your vacation. You know, I'd say one of the most exciting things about being down here in Marathon is this is just a completely new territory to us. So that way, while you guys follow along, I'm sure there's a lot that people will be able to learn from a boating and fishing standpoint if you guys watch this video. It's a little chilly. Great day to be alive, though. Here. Here, take that for me. Yeah. Come on. Let's get out of here. Who says I want to get out of here? I was comfortable where I was at. <laughs> so I'm assuming you slept good last night. I did. I slept like a baby. looking for pelicans diving on the surface of the water right now. The pelicans will get up nice and high so they can see the bait then they'll come down crashing on top of them to feed and obviously we're looking for that because if we can find the birds feeding on the bait we find the bait. But check that out right there man just a beautiful sunrise coming through the clouds. This is why we get up early. Found the birds. All right, let's see how shallow we can get a 39 contender here. We might get the boat stuck, but there's a good old saying that I always like to say, you never know till you try. And we're gonna try to get these baits and try not to get stuck. 2.865. You're good. If it starts to get down to one, then you know you're getting in trouble. Problem is, I don't want to get to one. I don't want to get in trouble. I hate being in trouble. Clay, it looks like it's going. I'm, I'm telling you, from up here, it's... you're good. Right. Yo, Cameron, what's your dude, what's up? What's up bro? You, need the bait. you are the man, dude. Cam, what's up, dude? Oh, man, I know, man. How are you? Hey, how Jordan, are you? Jordan, what's up, dude? How you guys doing? Pretty good, good man. How, how about you, you guys? What's up, bro? How's it going? Good to see you. Good to see you. Man, what are you guys doing in Marathon? Um, we're shooting for Marlin Bay Resort. Thank you, guys. How have you been? It's been like, yeah, I don't even know, time. like 10 <laughs> years? Uh, it's been good, man. Especially in the big here. boat, we man. We went to school together. <laughs> Middle school, elementary. That's right. Guys, Captain Jordan, Captain Cam with two conks. So if you guys need a charter down here in Marathon, these are your two go-to guys right here, man. Up. I'm, a, a shot. I'm a little biased, <laughs> but we, we promise you guys won't be disappointed. Right. 
All right, so we are about to start our first drift of the day. And we're trying to catch a little bit of everything. Mutton snappers on the bottom. You never know, a sailfish, kingfish, dolphin, tuna may come up on the surface. So we got ourselves circle hook there. 40 feet, a 40 pound leader. I'm gonna try to find the biggest pilchard in this live well. And then what we're gonna do with him is we're gonna go through the bottom lip and out through the top. And we're gonna toss him out. We're gonna let out all 40 feet of our leader and connect our weight. And we're actually drifting out this way. So since we're drifting this way, we're gonna let our baits out on the port side of the boat. Because if we were to let them out on the following side, what would end up happening is, is those baits would go right underneath the boat. And obviously we don't want that. And right here we have a double uni knot to a bimini twist. And that's just the tag end of the bimini twist. And we're gonna take this, flip that on just like that. And we're gonna drop it real slow. If you drop it fast, what ends up happening is, is that entire leader can get tangled around the weight and the bait. So we're gonna go real nice and slow down to the bottom. There it is, there it is. That's it. You got him? He's fighting back. It's just small. Whatever it is, it's small. There he is. He's on. I don't on. care as long as we can eat him. <laughs> as long as it's edible. That's right. It's right there. No, it's a small mutton. Baby mutton. Baby, that's what I was telling you. I felt him, but he's just small. It's a baby sized mutton right here. Hey, thanks for getting the small one out of the way. <laughs> right? I'll get the big one for you. I'm gonna stick him in here. So we're gonna have to vent this fish since he blew up his uh, swim bladder. And we're just gonna go right behind the peck fin. And that's just gonna let all the air out of him. So he can go right back down to the bottom. Yep. Whereas this one, this guy is gonna be able to go ahead and swim. There he goes. There he goes. This is a nice, oh, come on. Go get it, get it, get it. You can have it. I love the screams. <laughs> So what's cool about a mutton snapper is you can catch them in as little as inches of water when they're juveniles, all the way up to these big ones out here, 200, 300 feet. Obviously, the deeper you get, the bigger these fish get. We're just dropping them down on these 40 pound leaders, 40 feet, like we talked about. And we're using about 16 ounces of lead. That's typically what you need in the deep water out here. And then it also helps to have a wife He's there. that fights them for you. I, I like this. I like watching her more than me fighting them. That is what's nice about this boat too. It's 40 feet long, but at the same time, we do have lower gunnels in the back where we can reach over the side. It's an amberjack. Wow, that's still a big amberjack. Good job, Stephanie. Hey, if we had a smoker back at Marlin Bay, he would make some good fish dip. They actually love to eat these guys over on the west coast in the Gulf. Oh, wait, wait! What? This is on in the back! Oh, get it, get it. <laughs> you could talk about that amberjack. Is he on? Yeah, it's on. Oh, there we go. Anyway, we're going to spare him. In my opinion, they're not as tasty as a mutton snapper, so... Back to where he came from. Watch, it's a cobia. What kind of cobia fights like that? But hey, stay hopeful. You never know. It's with, it's a shark. Well, there's that. There is that. Wow, he's got freckles. Do you think that means he's like sick or something? <laughs> Can you bring me your line, please? I like watching you lean over. I, I haven't seen a shark with spots like that before. <laughs> well, freckles. you haven't looked hard enough. It's got freckles. <laughs> Oh, 
Holy moly. Now that's a wreck if I've ever seen one. Hey, Stephanie. What? Where's your weight? Leave me alone. Where'd it go to? Went to the bottom. Oh, it's not in the rod holder? No. Oh, it's coming out of your paycheck then. It's a good thing I just take your paychecks. People probably don't think that we're married. He's literally lurking on our, on our pilchards. He's like, mmm, looks like a yummy snack. Let me get some of that. Get out of here, seagull. Woo, woo. Who let the seagulls out? Woo, 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 woo. I don't feel like catching a bird today. Oh, just got a nice bite. Oh wow, that's a fight. I tried to give this one to Stephanie, but she didn't want it. Listen, I've been fighting off sharks, all types of jacks. I wanted to take a little break. I mean, we're bringing them up for 200 feet. I mean, after like the fourth fish, I just need to see that. Wow, that's a mutton or an amberjack. I hope you're right about the mutton part. Yeah, me too. Uh, that's a big one. I'm glad I handed that off to you. Do I, I would, watch me work? No, I would do the work. I'm just, I think that you do a better job. You have more energy than me right now. Look at those muscles. Oh man, you've got it going. Ow, oh, boy. Can I get your number? Here, I'll get the weight. Didn't make it down. Go. What is it? There's the Cobia. Oh. That's sweet. What did I tell you? What did I, okay, wait a minute. All right, how, tell, how let me about tell the, you wait, something. Wait, wait. Help me get this thing untangled. I literally told Clay, watch us catch a cobia. And he's like, you're just so hopeful. <laughs> and guess what? We Got caught a cobia. A cobia because right, I said they right. hang out at wrecks. Typically, you catch the cobias on the Gulf wrecks, not the Atlantic wrecks. But every once in a while, you can get them on the Atlantic wrecks. So you are right, Stephanie. Okay. You are right. I will gladly admit I was wrong. <laughs> he may have been legal back in the day. They used to have to be 33 inches. Now they're 36, I believe, to the fork. Woo! That's cool. Look at that. That's a little baby. Nice little baby cobia. Most people catch these guys and they're a little confused. They have no clue what they are. But sure enough, if he were bigger, this is a nice prize right here. There he goes. Go get bigger, buddy. Good job, babe. Thank you. Good job on your uh, your cobia call here That's on right. the wreck. Oh, and we got a bird. Nice. Oh, man. Cool. Bring him over. Oh, he's pooping. Let him poop. OK. Oh, come down. Come down. Come down. Come down. OK. OK. OK, so you want to grab the head so they don't bite you? Does that bird count as mine? <laughs> That's a catch. You got to catch up. Here. On the board, baby. All right, buddy, you're free. All right, so he's gonna be free. Get him a pilchard. Come on, come on, let's go. Come on, there you go, let's go. Oh, he pooped. There you go. See you later, dude. Come on, baby. That's the nicest bite we've had all day. Come on, give us a good fish, baby. That's all we want. We just want one. Give us one. I'll take one. This feels like a mutton. Come on, Clay. He's coming up easy now, which makes me think that he's inflating. We blew up his air bladder. So just hurry up and come get this weight, Stephanie. It's gotta be coming here pretty soon. Biggest thing yeah. is, is the reel when you can. It's right there, come on, Clay. You don't always have to pump up. But if you can just straight reel on them, that's always the best thing to do. Oh, it's a mutton. I hope it is. It's it gotta be a like nice it. one. It looks like it. Go, 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 go. Pull it away. Woo! Get him, baby! Our first marathon mutton, baby. That thing is a stun. Here, grab the rod. Yeah. Grab him. Hurry up. Oh. Look yeah, at that! Yeah, baby! Woo! That is a beast. We got to eat this tonight! <laughs> that thing is huge! Good job, babe. And I gotta tell you, that's not a bad one right there. <laughs> no, that's a good one. Beautiful. 
I guess you could say I know a little something something coming to an entirely new area, catching a big old mutton. That's why you go deep, 200 feet right here. That's how you get the big ones, baby. So I'm gonna show him to the place where all the stars of life by the bow end up. Thank you, buddy. I appreciate you biting my pilchard. Wouldn't be a vacation without the sandbar. So Stephanie and I made a deal. If she were to let me fish first thing in the morning, we do the sandbar in the afternoon. So the way that I actually find sandbars down here in the Keys is I get on my phone and I look on Google Maps and you'll see on Google Maps where there's sandy areas. So this is an area that I found actually just by scrolling and messing around on my phone. The only thing is in the lower Keys, Sometimes it can be a little difficult to navigate into these places with a big boat like this. So you always got to keep your tides in mind. It's November right now, so we're getting these really, really high tides. So right now we're okay, but it's an outgoing. So we really have to pay attention towards what's going on because we want to make sure that we can get out of here the same way we got in. Hey, Stephanie. Yeah. You're gonna pump up the paddle board for me, right? Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna blow it up. With that hand pump? Yeah, right. Well, I'm just playing, but I do have good news. I did bring an electric pump. Right behind me is the Anchor Solix C1000 portable power station. So, no hand pumping today and as you can see we have a car socket right here we also have a bunch of ac outlets right here six to be exact we also have usb a's usb c's we also have a little light right here charges in less than an hour right around 58 minutes and it also has a 600 watt solar input there's actually a black friday deal going on you can find more information about it down in the video description below. Definitely gonna come in handy for us today when using our inflatable paddle board here. All right, float test. All right, come on, Stephanie. We're not going very far, are we? I'm taking you on an adventure. Don't ask questions. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> I feel like I'm on like- All right, hold on, I'm coming back. Now. Yeah, you need to come down. This is just not working out with you standing up. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> just get on your knees. Oh, look at all the, are those pilchers? Look. Look at them all. I don't know if they can see. I need to build a live well on this thing. So one time- Oh, look at the mullet. There's a bunch of mullet up ahead too. Look at that. Can you see them? I think so. This is so nice. Right? See, we got it figured out. You see, that's why you listen to me, Stephanie. <laughs> listen. Stephanie- I always- Stephanie like initially idea. did not want to get on the paddle board with me. And in some ways, she was right. I will give it to her. She was right, but hey, you figure it out. These mangroves serve as such a great nursery for all the juvenile species. They just like keep them protected. 
and out of harm's way. What a lot of people don't know about mangroves is mangroves actually protect shorelines from hurricanes, heavy winds, waves, um, erosion, and they also filter the water. So in addition to the seagrass, those two kind of work together in tandem, which in return is what makes the water so clear and clean, obviously down here in the Florida Keys. I'm called the wild Stephanie. <laughs> <laughs> Got one. All right, now this is pretty cool. It's actually my first time seeing the cleaning tables here. It's sweet, you get to watch the sunset while you clean your fish. It looks like we got running water here behind us too. Man, what a day. What an experience too, staying here. This place is awesome. Didn't really know what to expect at first, just coming down to marathon fishing and then, you know, of course staying here at this resort, but the villas are spectacular. And right now Stephanie's in the kitchen and she's actually preparing for the fillets with these mutton snappers. So we're gonna take you guys inside and we're gonna whip up a recipe with this mutton snapper. And this is as fresh as it gets. And that is beautiful. All right, what's going on here? I'm cooking our vegetables. Ooh, those look good. They do. I just picked up this pack of fish fry, and the thing is when you're on vacation, this is so relatable. If you're gonna cook, you want something quick and easy. So this was a grab and go. All you're gonna do, pretty simple, dip the fish fillets into this batter. Now I'm just gonna stick each fillet into the vegetable oil, and that's it. That's as simple as that. I'm gonna wait for it to brown. Brown. Until it's brown, 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 brown. Woo, 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 woo. <laughs> Hopefully that's the only brown that we're seeing here. Right? No brown, 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 brown. <laughs> and that is it. Now it's ready to be devoured because I am so hungry after a long day of fishing. How does it taste? Awesome. So good, and yet it was so easy. And you know thank what? Thank you for cooking too. Oh no, thank you for the help. But honestly, this entire trip has just been amazing. Like, we had a full day of activities here in Marathon, mm -hmm. and you know, I can't thank Marlon Bay enough for allowing yeah. us to stay here. And Really appreciate them, appreciate you guys. As you can tell, we're, we're really tired. tired. Yeah. <laughs> So we're gonna get some sleep so we can enjoy the rest of this vacation. But once again, guys, thank you so much. We will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.